Hello, I'm Michael Glass from MichaelGlass.com, where we make informed decisions about our financial future. This is our Forex Technical Analysis video update. Before we begin our video, we always like to start off our disclosures. Any symbols that you see today should not be inferred as a trader recommendation. No matter what form of investing you choose, stock, forex, futures, option, they all have a level of risk associated with them. You can lose all of your money. Any strategies we show today are for informational purposes. Future results are not guaranteed. And finally, any investment decision you make is solely your own responsibility. Trade at your own risk. As we said, this is our Forex Technical Analysis video update. In each of our videos, we will review the prior system's price action to come up with key support and resistance price levels. We'll look at the crude and gold charts to come up with leading sentiment. We'll come up with a low volatility watch list, an inside bar watch list, and we'll have an economic uh, calendar update to see what could affect our future and open trades. And finally, if there's time, we'll have an education spotlight at the end. Let's pull up the charts. As usual, we are starting off with the gold chart, and we're seeing sort of a rising three pattern here as we make our way back up above uh, Friday's high. So uh, the question, again, is going to be, are we going to retest this past uh, swing high. We put an inside bar in yesterday. We closed above that. So that typically indicates a continuation, but you never know. When we come over to our hourly time frame, we can see uh, this was the vacuum that we talked about, and we said there was some uh, volume being put in here around 1785, and then we said the next area to be concerned about was 1817. We got there, we consolidated there, and then we, we pushed higher. If we drag back over, let's see, 1817 is our point of control. And we can start to see where we could get some movement. So you can see probably the next area is 1853 is our next area of concern as far as volume resistance. Uh, what we want to do is see our point of control, 1817 up to about 1822 hold up as volume support and again our next area will be in the 1850s for volume resistance. So a good day for gold means what to our currency pairs? Well we saw a little pullback here again yesterday we went up and tested our long-term horizontal resistance at 1.64 went up and pulled back and then today's action came and the nose said our uptrend line was defended again the sellers pushed us through and the buyers brought us right back so uh, we're going to continue to watch this trend line. If we break below 1.6235 here, then we'll start looking to come down to 1.6. But right now, we're going to watch this uptrend line. On our hourly time frame, we can see we are below our long-term moving average. We are in a buy zone, but just fractionally. We were there, and now we're kind of on the edge of the buy and neutral zone. We can see basically that the dollar took control right here. And that's what's caused uh, our, our price action moving down, that the dollar was in control. So as long as the dollar is in control, then on our daily time frame, we'll see price move lower. But again, it looks like it, the past couple of days, you can see these wicks here at 1.6235. Buyers are finding value. They're defending the line here. So we'll see. And even not just with our uptrend channel, but if we go back to our July time frame, we can see, again, this 1.62 price level were, was where buyers were finding value in the past. On the euro dollar on the daily, we also see the pushback off of the resistance, long-term resistance at 1.45. And we'll see if the moving averages here can hold up. Um, you probably could draw a secondary uptrend line in here. But since this is a lot of consolidation, really just going to watch and see what happens here. We are on the hourly time frame above our long-term moving average, but we're sitting in a neutral zone. So we're in neutral above a long-term moving average. And here, once again, the dollar took control right in this time frame here, which caused our, our push down. So as long as the dollar is in control, just like the pound dollar, we'll see the euro dollar continue to move lower. Uh, I will watch uh, just, to, just to see. We'll take a quick look here. See if there's anything in there. Eh, I don't really like it. Don't like it. So we'll watch the 1.435 to see if that holds up the low of the day here. Um, 
If the dog stays in control, we will continue to push lower. Finally, we have the dollar franc. With the dollar being okay today, we can see that we continue to push a little bit higher, making an inside bar within yesterday's range. So if we can break above this 0.8225, it makes sense for us to go test 0.83. Um, inside bar breaking above, volume pretty much remaining the same. However, what do we see? We continue to stay in a sell zone. We continue to be of long-term moving average, yet we're not seeing this move down. Why? Because the dollar remains in control. And as long as the dollar moves, remains in control, we will continue to push higher. We're going to move on now to our vol watch list. As always, we start off with our low volatility watch list. This is our H1 one hour time frame using Bollinger Bands. We take the time to mark the high and low of those upper and lower Bollinger Bands and watch for a breakout, preferably in the direction of the trend. Right now, we have the dollar yen, the dollar Canadian, and the dollar franc. Now, some of these aren't perfect, but they're setting up, and so we want to watch primarily because they're also our candidates for our inside bar watch list. That is watching our daily price range, watching the high and low. It's within yesterday's price range, and we're looking for a break. We talked about the inside bar for the dollar franc, and notice that all of our dollar currency pairs here are showing up in our inside bar watch list, so we should be watching for a break. As we move on to our discussion about pulling a trigger, yesterday we talked about the fact that if you can't pull the trigger, it has to do with a lack of discipline. Trading should be simple. It should be mechanical. It should be instinctive. Either the squares fit into the square pegs or they don't. Either the criteria that you have set up for your system is met or it isn't. Too often our ego gets in the way and we try to jump in or we try to jump out instead of letting our system work for us. We know that high probability trading is about leveling the playing field and trading with the momentum, trading with the professionals instead of against them. So either your system is right, either your criteria is met, or it isn't. There's a trade or there is not a trade. You know you can find our videos on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. We have a page on our Facebook, Are You Financially Literate? You know, we have our free five video course on high probability trading. This will help you design your own high probability trading setups, let you know what should and should not be a part of them, which will give you a gauge and insight into how we are as coaching. We believe that is a difference to help you figure out if you're a square or a circle peg. Our one on one coaching will help you develop a personalized trading plan where we help you develop that trader's mindset so that you can trade routinely and instinctively. Why not get paid to trade? We have rebates for your Forex trades. It doesn't change the conditions or the spreads. It's just rebates for your trades. And finally, automated Forex trading. If you want the signals, they can be traded automatically, or you can get the signals to trade it for yourself. A ton of providers that you can find based upon who you are as a trader. You can find them once match out. But again, it's key to look at what their rules are and make sure they match who you are. As you know, we firmly believe it's not about the system, the indicator, or the newsletter, or the trading room. It's about the trader's mindset. It's about having a system that matches who you are as a trader and trading it instinctively and not trading what someone else tells you to trade. That will help you pull the trigger. Thanks, guys, and I'll see you next time.